So we know that it is important for us to not get comfortable. Like Abraham, we must take a step of faith and pick up our cross and follow Christ. But how does this look on a day-to-day basis? How do we get help to do what we feel that God is calling us to do? How do we ensure that we do not go back into our comfort zone? The Bible is filled with stories of people who live outside of their comfort zone. Moses was called to leave his job of shepherding sheep to confront the Pharaoh and lead an entire nation of people to freedom. Joshua was commanded to lead the fearful Israelites into battle and into freedom so they could take hold of the promised land. Nehemiah was called to leave his comfortable job in a palace and become a leader who would help rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. Gideon was called to leave his job threshing wheat and lead a small group of warriors to defeat the very people they'd been hiding from. Esther was challenged to approach the king though it was against the law to do so without being invited in. Hopes, it, hopefully it would save her people from annihilation. Mary was called to become a teenage mother before she had even become a wife, and not just any mother, the mother of the long-awaited saviour. Jesus was called to die an excruciating death on the cross that you and I could be saved. And the disciples were called to go out into the whole world and make disciples of all nations despite persecution. See, God asked them to take a step of faith and follow often asking for simple, heartfelt obedience before anything else. God asked them to take a step of faith into the unknown and to trust that God would guide them. They showed courage to have faith and do what God had called them to do. I want to read this quote to you from a lady called um, Brienne Brown. You can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you can't have both. You can choose courage, or you can choose comfort, but you can't have both. They had to overcome their comfort. They had to realise that they could go down one of two paths, either comfort or to take courage and to follow Christ wholeheartedly. What is it that we are holding on to into our own lives that are restricting us from living out our Christ-centered purpose? What is stopping us from having a conversation about faith with a friend? What is stopping us from pursuing the true call that God has put on our hearts to follow for his glory? What is stopping us from having the relationship that we want with our children or our friends? It's comfort. It's comfort in what we already know. We don't want change. We don't want to mess things up. We like it the way that we are. But another word for comfort is also fear. It's a fear of messing up, a fear of the unknown, a fear of saying the wrong thing, fear of not knowing what Christ wants us to do and therefore leaving us on the fence, leaving us to not step into the job or the role or whatever it is that God has for us. The scripture tells a different story. See, the Bible tells us these things. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, verse 10. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. For God has not given me a a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Scripture is full of many statements about why we are not to fear. And that's easy for us to do when we're trying to get out of our comfort zone to live a life that God has called for us. But I want to quickly focus on one story within the Bible that I feel perfectly illustrates this. I'm going to read Matthew 14, verse 22 to 33. Jesus walks on the water. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side where he dismissed the crowd. 
after he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because of the wind against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. And Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, and he looked around, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And then, and when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. What did the disciples do? They were fearful of the storm. They were out of their comfort zone, and they needed help to get through the situation. But sometimes when we take a step of faith, everything around us can look like this storm. Everything around us can look difficult, uneasy, uncomfortable. Why did I get in this boat and go out here is what the disciples were probably thinking. And we can often think that when we take a step of faith, we take a risk when we feel that that's what God has said. But what did Jesus say? Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. When we get uncomfortable, we need to take courage in that Jesus is with us, like he was with the disciples as he walked on the water. We need to take courage that Jesus, our Saviour, the King of Kings, is with us always and forever. So whatever it is that we are walking in or doing or any step of faith that we need to take, we must trust, that, as he says uh, in his word, and take courage it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter then decides to get even more uncomfortable and boldly says, Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Kind of imagine this is like us when we might have something that we feel like God is saying to us to do, or a conversation we need to have with somebody, or an idea that we need to start focusing on and developing. It's like saying, Call me out, call me out, like give me some confirmation. Could you imagine being Peter in that moment though? It's storming, everything is uncomfortable. And then he decides to challenge Jesus and say, if it's you, Lord, tell me to come. Easy to say from the boat, isn't it? Easy to say, if this is you, Lord, call me to come to you. But what is Jesus' simple reply? Come. All he says, come. I don't know about you, but this is the passage that the Lord keeps bringing me to. Over the lockdown, it's been easy to be comfortable, to sit in the boat, to be comfortable with life, to be happy that I've got a job or um, I've got a house and just the way my life is at the moment is comfortable. To stay in the boat, we get used to our comfort. But the truth is, we are not called to live comfortably. We are called to live a life with our cross on our back, following Jesus. We must take a step out of the boat. As individuals, as Christians, it can be so easy to stay where we are, to be happy with where we're at, to be used to our lives and not want to disrupt anything. However, this isn't the life that we are called to live. Jesus calls us to be uncomfortable. Just like he was on the cross, just like Abraham was to leave all that he knew behind and to follow God's call on his life. Just like David, Daniel, Paul, Peter, and anyone else in the world who knows Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are called to get out of our comfort zone 
and to seek his voice and follow him. I want to leave you today with a final thought. On the 12th of August, we had a really hot day here in Wales. The sun was boiling, and if you know me, I don't like to be uncomfortable. The beach was packed, but we were so hot, both Caitlin and I knew we needed to do something. Let's go down to the beach, Caitlin said. Let's swim in the sea. I'll be honest with you, I hated the idea. It's hot, I'll burn, and I don't like the sand getting in my feet. I came up with every excuse possible. Lo and behold, we decided to do it. And it sounds silly, but we decided to get out of our comfort zone and go. Because I didn't want to walk down. I didn't want to have to walk back up. I didn't want to carry a bag. I didn't want to. I was kind of comfortable. Not really comfortable, to be honest. It was so hot. Just here at home. As we got down, I was sweaty and miserable. I'm so uncomfortable, I would moan and complain. But as we got through the short walk, we made it to the beach. We put our stuff down and made our way to the sea. It's so cold, I can't get in the water and swim. No way, that's so uncomfortable. We took a step, and little by little, it got colder at first. It got a bit worse. But over time, it got better. So we just took another step into the sea, and another step, and another step, until it got to the point where we were up to our shoulders, and then eventually fully submerged our head, and it was wonderful. We swam and enjoyed a fantastic time down on our local beach. On the way back, we were uncomfortable again. Sandy feet, hot sun beating down, but within 20 minutes I was home, showered and clean. Why do I share this story with you today? This reminded me of our walk with Christ. We can play it safe and stay somewhat comfortable, but not really. Confined to our, what we know and what we're happy with, but never satisfied. Or we can take a risk. We can go. We can get uncomfortable and take a step of faith to see and do all that God has called us to do. That doesn't mean we won't be uncomfortable. We will. That doesn't mean that we won't be at all. It will only last a short period of time. And it can lead to us to be able to see things and do things that God could only have orchestrated for us to be a part of. See, as a church and as individuals, we have been in unprecedented times. Where life and church and everything we know has been thrown upside down. We are uncomfortable. But it's important for us, as things do get back to normal, that we don't just go back to our comforts. And we realise that there is so much that God has called me and you to do here on this earth. But we have to choose what path are we going to take. Are we going to be like Abraham? Are we going to go down the path of risk, but so much reward, trusting God that he will be with us? Or are we going to decide to play it safe? and to stay comfortable and not know of everything that we possibly could have missed out on by just staying comfortable. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this time together. Thank you that we can worship you via technology. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that for us as a church at Ogmore and as individuals uh, who follow you, that we will not stay comfortable. Lord, that we will choose to pick up our cross carry it and follow you all of our days. Lord, I pray for each and every one watching this, who watches this and is thinking of ways in which maybe they've been comfortable. Maybe they've taken uh, opportunities that just satisfied for now, but they are searching for more, more of you. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you give them the boldness to take a step of faith and to follow you. Like Peter said, Lord, but he took a step of faith and followed you to listen to your voice, like Abraham did, to leave everything he knew to follow you. Lord, I pray that we pick up our cross and follow you each and every day here on this earth. In Jesus' name.